remarks. The valedictorian for the class of 2019 entered LCS in fourth grade. She has been involved in a wide variety of school activities, including choir, piano, volleyball, cheerleading. She's a member of the National Honor Society and five subject area honor societies. She was president of her class during her freshman, junior, and senior years. She was one of the lead attorneys on the LCS mock trial team that competed at the Empire Mock Trial World Invitational in New York City, and also finished state runner-up in the state of Florida. She will continue her studies next year at the University of Florida. I am pleased to present the valedictorian for the class of 2019, Ms. Alma Fosu. to my parents for making several sacrifices to set me in LCS, to the administration and my teachers for providing me with such a phenomenal education, and to my friends and family members who have acted as my support system. You guys all are a part of this story. Almost four years ago, we were starting high school. Our memories of LCS are defined by how we've interacted with one another, with our teachers, with our coaches, our parents, even our siblings, with pupils in the grades below and above us, with counselors, with the janitors, with Officer Stinson, and anyone else who's called LCS home for the past four years. As a class, we worked, studied, and struggled together. As seniors, we also created history and exceeded the standards of what senior year could be. We became the first class to break the myth that dancing creates babies. <laughs> we created and reinvented senior privileges and tomorrow, our baseball team will compete in the state semifinals for the very first time. Go Vikings. We've changed the culture of LCS and cemented our legacy into it. It is certainly no coincidence that God himself handpicked all 81 of us to be the 2019 senior class. I am pleased that I was able to serve as class president for three years, not for titles or accolades to add to my resume but to, for the opportunity to work for and represent each and every one of you. It is hard to believe that after four years of working, studying, laughing, dancing, and singing together, we're down to the final few minutes of our high school careers. When asked to deliver this speech, I was more than honored, but also extremely overwhelmed. How was I supposed to give this speech focused on the future when I honestly don't even know what I'll eat for dinner tonight? However, after thinking for endless hours and overdosing on caffeine, I realized that the best advice for the future was to apply the lessons we've already learned. So what has LCS taught us? Mr. Lucy taught us that no matter what, life is no harder than fourth grade math. <laughs> Mr. Ian Thomas showed us time and time again that we could conquer anything in life with a cup of coffee in hand. Mr. Macy taught us that no matter how bad the day, a smile should always be on our face. From Morgan Sir Wiki, we learned how important it is to have just the right amount of sass and class. <laughs> From Ethan Sale, we learned that no one is too cool to sing and dance. From Keen Balding, we learned the advantages of eating healthy while he tried to convince all 81 of us to be vegan. <laughs> From Tom Bowers, we learned that it's never too early or too late to have a coke. From Josiah Alvarez's talent for breaking teachers, to Dallas Ferguson's ability to relate everything, and I mean everything, to video games. <laughs> to Trent Curtis's skill at cleaning desks, we've all learned the, the emotional and mental benefits of having a good life. We've been given such rich opportunities in such a safe and happy environment. And for this reason, I believe that we can overcome any obstacle we face. Our senior trip showed us the importance of using our individual gifts when working together. This became even more evident to us in Seattle as all of our separate work groups came together to finish several tasks, from painting houses to shoveling horse manure. Whether it was the bonds we built over the last week with people we weren't close to, or our flight being delayed and then delayed again, everything that has happened at this point has happened for a reason and has shaped who we are as people. Now I'm sure all of us know that we didn't know what high school would hold four years ago. We didn't know that Ms. Ankur ruled and will always rule the hallways of LCS. 
we didn't know that Ms. Prescott's birds would be with us from start to finish. But the truth is, even with all these lessons and many more, no one truly knows what the future holds. We all have plans for how our high school years have played out. However, as seniors, we now see that life oftentimes does not go as planned. Through all these unexpected changes we've all encountered, we've all grown. And tonight, we see how beautiful growth can truly be. As graduates, we will continue to face uncertainties and challenges in the immediate and distant future. But we can, as Cameron Weininger most recently said, control the controllables. As we look to the future, we must not spend all of our time trying to control all uncertainties and things that are beyond our control. Because in all honesty, uncertainty is just another word for opportunity. When faced with these opportunities, there are three things we must remember. First, we must remember where we come from. We all have different stories and have different backgrounds, but all of these make us each unique. We must always be grateful for the sacrifices we and those around us have made. But more importantly, we must always remember where we are going with the visions and goals we each set for ourselves. God has provided for us in the past, and we have great hope knowing that he will continue to provide for us in the future. Secondly, in the face of uncertainties, we must never let the fear of failure get in the way of exceeding expectations. We should always remember what Ms. Brandon has always said, that we perform from acceptance and not for acceptance. That our identity is not in what we accomplish. So whether you aspire to be a lawyer, doctor, or own your own mobile, mobile launching mat like Michael Cassidy, you can get there with determination, dedication, and focus. All things you've learned here at LCS. Class of 2019, look to your left and look to your right. Together and individually, we've all struggled and conquered various hardships that life and senior year has thrown our way. When we face obstacles in the future, we can remember all these things we've already overcome and the expectations we've already surpassed. We had success in these moments because when life knocked us down, we got up and we tried again. In all these moments, failure was never defeat. And thirdly, we should never let standards define us. If someone had told me on my first day at LCS in the fourth grade that I would be delivering this speech, I would have never believed it. I never thought that I could overcome society's stereotypes or challenge the status quo. I stand here before you all as a reminder that each of us is greater than any limitations we place on ourselves or that others have placed on us. The sky is truly the limit. We are a class that has exceeded beyond measure both inside and outside the classroom. And because of this, we have a responsibility to persevere. Now we've grown up hearing about Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. But tonight, we have dreams of our own, and they begin here. I have a dream that our class, the Lakeland Christian School class of 2019, will push boundaries to make this world a better place, even in the smallest of ways. I have a dream that each of us will leave an undeniable mark on the hearts and souls of those around us. I have a dream that this class will serve its families, communities, and nation with an unmistakable passion that shines through. Now some of us will go on to college, and others will go straight into the workforce. As we go our separate ways, we must remember that no one owes us anything. But we owe it to ourselves to work hard, to stand up for what we believe in, and to make a difference. As graduates, we should go forth into the world not thinking that it spins for us but we should rather enter it but to be the ambition and to be the change that we want to see in it. Class of 2019, as we depart from LCS, I wish us all the best, <coughs> but I also wish us adversity and struggle because it is through these hard times that our faith is challenged, questioned, and strengthened. It is through these hard times that we realize who truly loves and who truly cares for us. And it is through these hard times that we realize who we are and who we want to be. Although we are leaving, we are forever connected through our memories of this day and this incredible school we've called home for the past four years. We began high school as children, but we are leaving here as adults. We have completed a basic education that will serve as a platform we will use to launch ourselves into the future. While tomorrow brings a new journey, today marks the end of a chapter in all of our lives. No longer will we eat together in the cafeteria, no longer will we put on blue and white, blue and white with our classmates. No longer will we scream, LCS is red hot. Or will we sit in chapel services. 
The world is now our hallway. Offices, hospitals, and war battlefields will now be our classrooms. We stand on the verge of the future. It is no longer a distant reality. It begins here, it begins tonight, and it begins right now. Fellow classmates, I am beyond excited to say that we have finally made it. Go out, serve, make your mark, lead the way, and make a change. Because the best is truly yet to come. Congratulations, class of 20 years.